So we have our food scraps from yesterday to give the rabbits, but, but their feeder is still kind of dirty from last time when we gave them greens last night. So let's get it all cleaned out. Oh no, I see another one. He's a little head popping out. He's so cute. Okay, now that they are distracted with food and aren't mobbing my legs, it'll be easy for me to talk to you and explain what this video is about today. So this morning is the first morning I will be able to do morning rabbit chores in the new colony. Yesterday morning, we just finished the colony and I put food and water and hay in, but it wasn't really like chores. It was more like, you know, get it ready. So today I'm going to take you along as I do my first official morning rabbit chores in the new colony. My setup is much different than last colony, and I'm still working through some of the kinks, some things I really do like and I want to keep doing, and some things I don't like. Maybe the water is placed different or the hay is somewhere else, I don't really know. For sure what we're going to have forever, but this is what we have for now. So come along with me as we feed and water and hay the rabbits. So the first thing I do every morning is kind of unavoidable. I'll look at the rabbits and notice, you know, if there's any dead ones lying around or any of them acting weird or major wounds. They're most, most of the time, like 99% of the time, there's nothing wrong, but it always is nice to do a quick scan, make sure, you know, a quick head count of the breeders just to make sure everyone is okay. And that's kind of, you know, when you look at them, you do it. So it's hard to like not do it, but uh, just to note that it's something I do every day. So for you guys, there's Dasha. Rinna, Ronwin, Ivy, Henwin, Zuzu, and then over here is Elodie. And then I never bother counting the babies. We always have tons and tons, and they move around a lot, so it's hard not to count some twice, so I don't bother counting them. So the first chore I'm going to be chucking this morning is hay. Now, I filled this hay feeder up yesterday when we switched everyone to this new colony, and it doesn't need to be refilled again. We do have a lot of rabbits in here, but not nearly enough that they eat all this hay in one day. I will probably have to fill this up or at least, you know, push the hay down in a few days. So this morning's hay chore is very, very easy. Like the hay, today's food chore is pretty easy as well. We are transitioning our rabbits away from grain, so they will only be getting hay and fresh greens and pumpkins or sweet potatoes or things that we grow. But we didn't want to switch them all at once from a, to a new colony and a new rabbit in here and new feed all at once. That'd be way too stressful, we thought. So we don't have our awesome feeders all set up or anything. We just have a little bowl of some grains mixed together just for a little bit as we transition them away from eating grains every day. So it's still full from yesterday, and so that means I don't have to do it today, which is very nice. Okay, so for the waters, this one is pretty clean still, but the water level is very low. This one is much higher, the water level, but there is some spilled feed in there. So let's clean both of these up and fill them back up to be nice and full for the rabbits. Okay, so we have our water all filled up, and then we have this homemade apple, pear, apple, and pear. Yeah, pear and apple cider vinegar um, that has too much yeast in it, and it kind of, it's good, but it tastes very bad, so we're not going to use it for us. So we are putting it to good use and putting it in the animal water. We don't do very much apple cider vinegar in our rabbit water, just a capful or about a tablespoon per gallon. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have all the basics done. We have the hay is good, the water is good, and the food is good. We gave them their daily food scraps, but before we go harvesting tons of greens for them this morning, I'm going to check on the babies. Last night, Rina gave birth in this nest box, and she had some really nice babies, so we're going to check on them and make sure they're all doing okay this morning. Just finished checking out the babies. They are all very full and very happy. No bad news to report, so yay! And then let's stuff some straw in the entrance just so that babies don't crawl in and mess with them or snuggle with them and steal the milk.
And now we have to go around checking the nest boxes for new litters. No babies in this one. No babies in this nest box either. And then we saw Ivy go in the hole they started digging yesterday. She went in this morning and it's much deeper than it was last night when we left it. I'm not sure if there are babies in there or not. I'm guessing probably not because they haven't buried the entrance to it like they should if there were babies. So I'm going to assume there are no babies in there and act accordingly. So we checked on the babies and the nest boxes and now it's time to get them some greens. So food, water, hay, and greens, and the babies are all good. That about wraps it up for our morning rabbit chores in the new colony. Everything went very smoothly and very nice. Thanks for watching.